Hello, my name is Stuart Alden and I'm going to talk about a piece called Foucault as Translator of Binslanger and von Weissacker. It's an article that develops from a larger project that I've done for a book entitled The Early Foucault. It's a research project that looks at what Foucault did before the history of madness in 1961. Now Foucault doesn't publish very much in this early period, but he does write quite a lot, much more than he publishes. And my article is part of a theme issue of Theory, Culture and Society uh, that's called Foucault Before the College de France, that's co-edited by Daniele Lorenzini, Orazio Herrera and myself. And other articles in the issue look at some of the surviving manuscripts from the first part of Foucault's career. His diploma thesis on Hegel, for example, a lecture course on philosophical anthropology, manuscripts on phenomenology in Ludwig Binswanger and other materials. Now these are all discussed in my book, but in this paper for the issue, I focus on two things that Foucault did publish in this period, both of which are translations. Now one of these is quite well known because Foucault wrote a long introduction to the translation of the Swiss psychologist Ludwig Binswanger's essay, Dream in Existence. But Foucault was also involved in the translation of this text with Jacqueline Verdot. This is a publication of the uh, uh, French translation and Foucault's long introduction uh, to this text. Now Foucault was involved in that translation and the biographies uh, David Macy, Didier Erebon discuss how Foucault and Verdot worked together um, in terms of a sort of a biographical story of this. But I'm interested in some of the terminological choices and in particular how they're revealed in two notes that Foucault wrote for the translation that discuss some of those choices. The other translation is much less discussed. It's a book by the German neurologist Victor von Weissacker called Der Gestaltkreis that Foucault and Daniel Rocher translate uh, is a book called The Siegle de Structure, which was published in 1958. Now, there's a political controversy about von Weizsäcker that I also discuss in this piece, but the main focus of the article is to provide a detailed reading of the German originals and the French translations, to discuss the translation choices that Verdot and Foucault for Binswanger and Foucault and Rocher for von Weizsäcker made in turning these German texts into French. In particular, I'm interested in the transition between languages around concepts, and I use this in the article as a way of exploring Foucault's practice as a translator. Now, the other main translation that Foucault made uh, a little later in the 1950s and early 1960s was a translation of Immanuel Kant's book, The Anthropology, and this was Foucault's secondary doctoral thesis. He submitted the translation of this German text into French, along with a long introduction. Now, I discuss that translation and the introduction in detail in the early Foucault book. Now, while Foucault's engagement with Kant and with Binswanger and their ideas has been discussed in the literature, Foucault's role as a translator has been generally neglected, and the engagement with von Weizsäcker is almost never mentioned. So the piece is an attempt to explore a different side of Foucault's intellectual practice as a translator of psychological, physiological and philosophical texts, and what I suggest in the piece is that this is an important part of the story of the early Foucault. Thank you.